these things is not like the others One of these things doesn't belong Can you tell which thing is not like the other By the time I finish this song Eu tenho uma imagem de uma irmã, minha irmã está a fazer tipo comigo e sempre falou nas outras séries de me involucrar né, com o povo de rede, com meninas, com muñecas e me identificava mais por esse tipo de coisas. De menina, eu fui mais ter uma menina mais solitária. Me excluía de meninas para estar mais com o tempo, com mais tempo sola e com mais meninas. Evitava muito contato com os meninos. Compartir con mi hermana el tiempo todo de juegos, con, en la manera como nos vestíamos, como nos maquillábamos y siempre trataba de guiarme por el lado más femenino. Considero que siempre hay un estigma en, en cuestiones de salud. Y no hay una definición total con respecto a mi género, no saben cómo tratarme y no saben cómo dirigirse a la salud. Falta más como orientar a la gente que trabaja en los hospitales y falta más como ese, esa parte de, de respeto y tener un, un lugar más. Sobre la sociedad, ¿qué te digo? No miran como payasa, no miran como los X-Men, los, los cartoons, ¿me entiendes? Hay gente que a veces eh, que se quedan viendo a una como si no fuera de otro planeta. Digo, digo yo, Dios mío, pero será Marte que uno viene o será de Neptuno. ¿Me entiendes? No hay respeto. Ya es tiempo, ¿me entiendes? De que haya, como te digo, un, un respeto contra los transexuales en la sociedad. Si hay una voz, ¿me entiendes? En la Casa Blanca, no he visto la primera mujer trans o el primer hombre trans. De mujer a hombre y de hombre a mujer. No lo he visto. Simplemente gay y, bise y lesbiana. Disculpame la palabra, la, 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 la transexual que se jodan. ¿Me uh -huh. entienden? Se jodan, total. Disculpame la vuelvo y te repito, tú hablas vulgarmente. Ya hay bastante maricones, hay bastante mariconas, lesbianas. Y ahora hay que también. Comernos las transexuales, de mujer a hombre y de hombre a mujer, ¿me entiendes? Basti sola. No hay nadie, nadie, nadie que abogue por una, ¿me entiendes? Un trabajo, no sabes de cuánto tiempo yo tengo educando trabajo. Ah, por ser transexual. No, pero somos invisibles, lamentablemente. Que no somos invisibles, que somos un ser humano como, como, como ellos. Que la comunidad transexual hable, aboque por una, ¿me entiendes? Para no ser más invisible. ¿Ves? Pero entonces, si somos invisibles y no, no, nos, call no nos, nos quedamos callados y no hablamos, nunca van a dar cuenta de quiénes somos. Por eso ya no son de que estamos calladas. No estamos abogando por nuestros derechos. There are service providers that lack the knowledge, the know-how, um, the sensitivity and understanding of how to deal with a trans-identified client. One of the major uh, faults of uh, service providing programs, agencies, institutions is that um, they provide services but don't always know how to cater the services or tailor the services to a specific demographic. And so what ends up uh, happening is that there are trans identified folks who end up not accessing this, these services or fail to access these services because they're not aware that these services are available for them or they're not aware that these uh, services are, um, are also set up. A lot of these girls end up accessing programs that don't have trans identified staff working within the program and so they find it problematic not only to engage but to connect with those service providers 
on a, on a real level because they don't know if whether or not the service provider is really truly going to understand what her life experience has been like. And so a lot of the times the girls find out about the program because we happen to be a part of the community that they're coming from. So we try to create a space here that is non-judgmental. You know, and we try to create a space here where we're understanding that people come in different places in their lives. You know, not everybody is exactly where everybody wants to be when they walk in through these doors. You know, and so one of the things that we try to do environmentally in the space is that we try to set it up in a way where, you know, you're here. You know, bring what you got and we'll try to help you with whatever we can. You know, we're not here to place judgment on any girl. But a good majority of trans women are involved in sex work. I will say a good 80% of trans women are involved in sex work. If not currently, at one point in their life, they were involved in sex work. Because when it comes to trans women, it's very challenging for trans women to find legal, on the books employment. Especially if you're a woman of, you know, who has a, who's immigrant and does, is not, you know, her status has, the, she's not a citizen here it becomes even more challenging to find legal employment. And so a lot of these girls are sex working, not because they want to, but because they have to. So they go out there to earn their money, end up getting arrested, get thrown in jail. Now they have a record that makes them even less un employable. You know, and so they find themselves having to go back out onto the street, you know, to try to get some money so they can get at least the money to pay for a hotel room to be able to sleep in. It's this constant cycle that they're stuck in. And so there is that factor there that places them, them at risk. So one of the things that we do notice is that amongst trans women there is a very, you know, high prevalence of HIV infection and transmission, unfortunately. And it's def definitely difficult to try to make someone who has never dealt with trans issues or has never had the trans experience to understand why there's a need to be very specific in the way that we capture this information. I've done lobbying. I've gone to the state house and spoken to local politicians, and you'll be surprised. Some politicians, they will flat out say uh, they don't understand why they why they should have to support trans issues. It's not like trans people live in their local communities, mm -hmm. and this is coming from a politician. Okay, so but because of the the, the political climate uh, that we live in, some of these folks are unwilling to push. Uh, without uh, concern of uh, some ne negative re repercussion. Um, so unless there's someone who has had the experience, either having had a son, daughter who, of trans experience, a family member of trans experience, a friend of trans experience, or have lived their own personal lives as a trans individual, there is this lack of interest or want to learn more and to do the proper research that needs to be done.